Hello YouTube fam, how y'all doing? How you feeling? This is your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, a channel where I ran and I review. Man, you know most people make it seem like you don't boast to buy shit. You just supposed to complain. You don't boast to spend your money. No, but see, you boast to practice what you preach. Like you said you ain't gonna spend no money long as the stuff high. Okay, it went on sale. But you said you just ain't gonna buy fill of shit. No, I said I'm gonna buy the stuff I want. Now, if I'm buying the stuff I want, what is the problem? See, that's the thing that, you know, it, it's, it stops me in the shell. Now, for most people that don't realize, this is a collecting channel. Now, I get here and I get weird comments from weird ass people saying weird shit that I don't understand. Dude, it is what it is. Why do people hate so damn hard? It's like, I can't see him spend his money. Oh, I'm going to say some shit, man. You shouldn't be collecting, man. You shouldn't be collecting if you saying that you tired and you, you know, and shit. You bored. You shouldn't collect. This ain't for you. Dude, I'm going to tell you something. You get bored with every damn thing in your life. Do you supposed to stop living? You get bored with your damn life. Don't mean you supposed to stop living. Dude, I don't think people understand this. This is life. Life is not always an exciting thing. Sometimes it gets dull and it gets monotonous. Sometimes it gets routine. You got to work yourself out of that. Look, you ain't going to always be jumping out of damn airplane on fire uh, with gravy all over your ass. <laughs> Shit ain't going to always happen. You ain't going to always be the center of attention. This is the real world, man. You're going to go through some shit. You don't have to put work in. You don't have to think about stuff. You don't have to sit back and not be able to spend time in your man cave or your woman lair or whatever it is. You know, again, we spend money. Yes. Part of keeping this economy going is to spend money. We get mad when the rich spend money. Damn it, that helps the economy. If they hoard their money, damn it, the economy is doomed. Everybody got to spend. I'm not saying spend every penny you got. I'm saying spend on the stuff that you want. Now, if we sat here and complained about prices and, you know, things not being on sale, and all of a sudden, they listen. I mean, you know, maybe, you know, it's a ploy by the companies, you know, to get us all riled up. Then all of a sudden say, look, we delivered. Okay, cool. At the end of the day, man. You gonna spend your money on what you want to spend your money on. You know, I sit back and talk to people all the time. And they say, man, you too damn old to be playing with toys. Man, you throw all your money away on toys. I said, man, shit, I play with toys and you get drunk. Shit is real. I play with toys and you high as hell. Shit is real. If we call in spades, spades, I'm gonna call you a spade every damn day. Look, I'm not disrespecting anybody out here or saying it's wrong to smoke. It's not. It's legal now. You know, I'm not saying it's wrong to drink. It's legal. I have no problems with these. But I'm saying stop having a problem with me doing what I do and it's not hurting you. I could see all my shit. I could sell, man, if I ever got in need. But you can't sell empty ass bottles and get anything too much for them unless it's Ace of Spade or Chris Style. You ain't gonna get no money for a crog, at least. One of them three. Dom Perrion, probably. Four. Where people will buy a bottle just to stunt. But anything else, I can't see. See my point? This is what I'm talking about, man. It's like people don't understand. I tell people to stay in their lane. You know what? One of the biggest problems that YouTubers have is people trying to take them out their lane and knock them down a peg. We shouldn't be trying to knock each other down a peg. We should be building each other up. When you see deals, man, and it's some, some shit you want. You know, a lot of people have been complaining about the G.I. Joe's being too high. Hell, they had a deal. Scarlet, um, Ricondo, Duke, and all of them was nice. They were nice prices. Dude, like I said, you can't get it for pennies on a dollar all the time. You can't get it for 20 damn cents. I know we all want it for a nickel, but it ain't gonna always happen like that. You know, sooner or later, you might have to pay for some shit. This is the real world. No one cares that, you know, you don't want to spend full price. Because they don't give a shit that I don't want to pay full price. So I'm pretty sure they're not caring about anybody else, man. We got to do this right. 
We too busy worried about other people. We too busy trying to tear each other down instead of building each other up. Oh, man, you just need to take a break, man. You buying too much. See, you got a problem. See, that's the thing. You got a problem, and you need to stop. You shouldn't have no toys. See, a collector should only have five toys. You'd be like, the fuck you collecting? Like, thoughts? <laughs> Opinions? Like, if it took you 10 years to collect five damn toys, you ain't a collector. You just somebody who just pick up stuff when they see it. Dude, collectors buy. That's the whole point. That's the whole thing. You know, people told me about the retro gaming, and they said, man, you know, it's hard to build a collection right now, man. It's really hard. Everything is super, super priced. No, it's not. Not everything is overpriced. You know, you can start a whole damn collection on filler games. Half of them damn games are fun. Everybody wants all the top name games and every damn thing else to put on shelves to show the see I got that game now you'd be like what what does it play like dude long time ago I was in a union and <laughs> they have union meetings so I would ask people I said man what is the union meeting about right oh man they had this food they had that food they had this other food I'm like but what did they talk about but uh, -uh but they had this other food so I asked two other people and they all told me about the food. So my whole point was, uh, they could have said, look, we're going to poison all the food and let's see who eat it. Dude, if you're not there on business, you just play. And right now, what I'm trying to tell the people is, look, let's have fun. Let's enjoy this. Yeah, we complain about stuff. Then stuff hit. You can't always be mad, especially if it's shit that you want for your collection and all of a sudden you know it won't stick around long, especially once it went half price. Oh, man, this is $7.49. You know, I, <laughs> this guy told me, he said, man, I see this figure for five damn dollars. He said, oh, tell me why. I was like, I ain't buying this figure. I'm not buying this figure. I told him, I said, buy the figure. And he was like, no. I said, I send you $5. Buy the damn figure. He's like, no, man, I'm good. He, he didn't buy the figure. A week later, he wished he bought the damn figure. Because you won't see it again for five damn dollars. That's the thing that people don't understand. You think, man, I'm going to see it again. No, you won't. you see it again probably 10 years later. Then what? And trust me, you ain't paid $5. You done paid damn near 55 to $105. That's the point I'm making. Don't be so bent out of shape to get it for a nickel. I got it for a nickel. That's what hurt the retro video game situation. That's what hurt the whole gaming damn market. Because everybody was telling the prices they were getting stuff for. And people were out there fighting to get it for that price. Uh-uh. No, somebody got it for 30 cents. I should get it for 30 cents. And you sitting there like, okay, go to that person and get it for 30 cents then. No, but I want you to get to me for 30 cents. Man, if you don't get your ass up out of here with that nonsense. See, that's what hurt the video game market. And you know what? People still thinking they in 1990 trying to get them prices. That shit is over. Getting video games for a dollar piece, most of the time, it's long gone. You know, because people are like, look, I do know what I got. And they damn right. They know what they got. Why the hell should they sell it to you for a nickel and you don't go sell it for an arm and a leg and be like, yeah, but see, they must have sold it to me for a nickel. Man, look, this is the real world. There are consequences for actions. I hear people say, man, you know, I'm a reseller, man, and I was telling people, don't scuff your shoes at the bottom. Don't wear your shoes. What? I shouldn't wear my shoes because when you get them, you don't resell them and they should be in perfect condition. Man. Man, don't write your name on the games because when I get them, I'm going to have to put some work into it to get your name off. So you telling me you got to do some work to make some money. Hmm. Where have I heard that concept at? Work for money. Sounds like a job. And this is the thing that a lot of people are not understanding. You got to treat this shit like a job. There's nothing for free. And if it is, you don't want it, trust me. You know, <laughs> this guy was like, yeah, you know, if you do this, this, and this, 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 a long time ago, you can get free rent at this place. And I was like, what's all the stuff? 
because you know the person i was with hanging out with he took the deal right and i was like no man they don't take that deal you know and he was like why not and i said no it ain't just for me man you know because i said man you know i work and i don't want to do all that man but free rent and rent is this price right now man no man you a fool for not taking that so i seen him like a couple of months later after that no i think it was about three or four months up to six months later man that motherfucker was worn out Dude, they told him he had to do like four or five things up to six things to get free rent, right? Dude, they had shit for him every day. Damn near a whole list that would take up his whole day. I'm like, how do you supposed to work? You know, free rent is one thing, but hell, they basically getting a job out of you. I said, what are you getting out of this? What are you benefiting from? I said, hell, are they copying your utilities? What's, oh man, you know, oh man, you know. Why you didn't take it? I said, I didn't take it because it wasn't a deal. I said, I seen it and realized, dude, trust me, when you out there and you think you done hit the jackpot, realize maybe you didn't. I felt I dodged the bullet at that time, man. And I'm going to tell you something. You know, you still got to think. I got to pay these utilities. I got to put food on this table. I got to put gas in that car, pay that car note, you know, and all that other stuff, you know, health insurance and all this other stuff that go along with it, the car insurance, you know, you got to have all this stuff, but how you going to get it if they got you working like a damn dog from nine to five, it's like you the building super. And I understood if that's what the case was, if you was the building super, you know, a maintenance man, I would understand that. Mm -mm. Dude, when shit sounds too good to be true, 90% of the time, it is. It's too good to be true. So leave it where the hell it's at. But see, this is why I talk to people and this is why I try to get involved with a lot of people and tell them about certain things because a lot of people don't understand. It ain't all, all money ain't good money. And everybody that laugh with you ain't your friend. Some people will use the shit out of you. They realize you don't know no better, so they gonna keep on using. This is why I say pay attention to what you see happening, man. And let it ride like that, man. But to latest, your Uncle Tim, peace out, fam.